Hey class, so we're gonna quickly go through where you find our library resources and um, where you find those databases, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to SAC's homepage and then you'll go over to menu and library. Um, sometimes you have to sign in to get into the databases and you'll just use your SAC login. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna to navigate to this left-hand side and you wanna select uh, find articles and eBooks. You're also able to chat with librarians 24-7 um, and you're able to also, you know, talk to the librarians on campus as well if you have questions. But essentially, for most of these online databases, you're going to come over here to find articles and ebooks. And um, your best database to use is going to be this Academic Search Complete. You absolutely can kind of poke around, look at the other databases that are available to you. However, Academic Search Complete is going to typically be the best starting spot. So when you open Academic Search Complete, um, it's pretty blank um, and you're going to just have this little search area over here. I'm going to move my video really quickly for us to be able to view this better. Um, so you're able to put in your uh, search terms here, right? So we're going to be writing about literature. Um, when we get into essay three, you have an option to write about, let's say, Sunny's Blues, right? Maybe we're going to write about something with Sunny's Blues. Um, you could see it says James Baldwin. It, it might help to uh, make it more specific, but let's stay a little more vague. And let's first, you know, select search and see what comes up. Okay, so we see what comes up. One thing you always want to check on Academic Search Complete is you want to make sure that this uh, full text is selected over here on this left hand side and it's super important because if this is not selected sometimes you'll have options that pop up that are not um, specifically uh, including the PDF that is available right and we want to make sure that we have the text that it's not just giving us a title Another thing you might consider doing is looking at the year of publication. We're in 2023, um, you know, the, two, the 20s in general. You want to make sure that you're kind of moving this up. Maybe we move it up to 2000 to kind of lessen how many results pop up. And you'll notice still many are um, within the 2000s, right? So another thing that you might consider is um, if, let's say, your selection is huge, you might want to kind of bring it down to make it more specific. So you use um, other search boxes to make it more specific. So um, if you use this, this feature right here is called a Boolean feature. And uh, depending on whether you have and or or not in your search will determine what um, it's searching for, right? So if you said Sunny's Blues and James Baldwin, right, then everything that comes up has to include both. However, if you had said Sunny's Blues, not James Baldwin, it would have brought up texts that had the word Sunny's Blues, but not James Baldwin, which probably would have been less, right? Um, and if you had uh, put in or it would have included all texts that talk about Sunny's Blues or James Baldwin. Another thing you can uh, type in are specific like words that bring up concepts um, that maybe you want to write about. So maybe with Sunny's Blues we want to kind of look at how race and racism is dealt with. Nothing's coming up for that specifically, right? So we might want to consider then um, just going back to Sunny's Blues and kind of seeing what, what that provides us with, right? Um, and so let's say we are finding something that we like. Um, I'm going to end up just clicking on one of these so that we can kind of open it up and just look at the text. And so we can kind of learn to navigate that. So something about this is um, 
it is going to provide you with a few things, right? Academic Search Complete um, lets you take a link. So this is called a permalink down here in this right hand corner. And if let's say you're trying to collect a lot of articles and see what you want to kind of come back to, this permalink is what you want to save if you're saving a link. You don't want to save the URL at the top because that URL at the top will not bring you back to um, where you want to go. It'll make you uh, go back to the main page rather than bringing you to the article. So if you're wanting to save links, you want to save this permalink. Another thing you can do is you can um, email yourself the text, right? And you can send it via any of these sort of methods, um, whatever works for you. Um, however you want to kind of save it. You can also put it in a folder over here on this right hand side as well. Um, sorry, this is the email one. I don't know what I was clicking down there. So you can send it via email. Um, you can decide whether you want it as a PDF or not, right? And I suggest a good rule of thumb um, besides saving permalinks, um, because not all of the databases will have the permalinks very obvious, is to email yourself the articles that you're wanting to look at and save them in a folder on your email. And then when you're done writing the essay and you don't ever want to look at those, you know, um, articles again, just delete that folder. Folder, um, that you've created for those research articles, okay? But I think that's a good way for you to hold on to all your materials because there's nothing worse than doing your research, finding, a, you know, an article that you thought was perfect and then not being able to refind it again. Um, that's always very frustrating. So another great thing about using our library database is that you can cite all of your work, right? So there's no excuse for not citing your work when you're using our databases because over here on this right hand side, again, it gives you the citation. So what you want to do is you want to find MLA format, not APA, right? APA tends to be at the top because ABC order. Um, and so that's not what we're doing for this class. We want MLA, okay? And then you can just copy and paste that right into your doc. Sometimes you want to double check to make sure that um, it's not giving you something all caps, like the, the name of the author or the title. Sometimes it gives you those in all caps, and we don't want that. Um, also notice this has that hanging indent, right, where the, the line underneath the top one indents. We want to make sure that we maintain that as we um, transfer that over. One other minor note is notice how this background is kind of gray. When you copy and paste that over, sometimes that transfers and sometimes it's it's very close. So I know if anybody's colorblind or if maybe um, your eyesight um, isn't, you know, super, super crisp, or maybe you just don't see it. I know many people just really can't see it. Um, just make sure that you're going and highlighting that work like using your cursor to highlight and then remove all highlighting um, or all color in the background on your work cited because sometimes when we copy and paste from these sources, it does bring that background color over. So this is just kind of a quick overview of our library database. Um, this, uh, you know, is going to be the best one to initially start with, Academic Search Complete. Um, but feel free to poke around and look at the other databases and see what's available. Sometimes JSTOR can be pretty good for literature as well, um, which, you know, is put over here as uh, popular. But you can uh, also look through, you know, Bloom's literature um, and any of the other ones that kind of strike your fancy, okay? If you're having a hard time finding database resources, you can feel free to always email me. My biggest suggestion though is keep track of what you have typed into the databases and which databases you've already looked at. That will then help me when you email me and you're like, I can't find any sources. My first question to you is going to be like, which database did we look at? What did we type into the databases? So then I can help you come up with different word choices or different databases to maybe look at, okay? So I'm always here and happy to help however I can. So don't hesitate to reach out as you're finding these outside sources uh, for our essays, okay?